This isn't, this isn't funny anymore. I, I'm being serious. Knock it off. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the grand opening of Cardinal Woods. Our campgrounds ensure that fun and relaxation are top priority while you visit. As you stay in our suites feel the warmth of our cozy and self-sustaining campfires as you celebrate our local events. Here, you will be able to take part in many activities, such as jogging, hiking, fishing, canoeing, and you even can take pictures of our wildlife. Ever feel like you need help with something then contact our local camp councils to either guide you or aid. We were able to achieve this and more thanks to our sponsor Econ building a better future for you. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy your stay as we will enjoy your time here at Cardinal Woods. Alright. I can't wait to enjoy my stay. Jesus, alright. Okay, this should be a good place to set up. Did you pack everything? As far as I'm aware, yeah. Okay, look, just to make sure, I'll check the list. Alright, chairs. Yep. Flashlights? Mm-hmm. What about snacks? <laughs> yes, and no, I kinda ate a few snacks. Of course you did. Uh, anyway, what about the tent with sleeping bags? Yep. A lighter? Mm-hmm. A heater? Mm-hmm. And cell phones just in case we needed to call somebody. Always. Always right. gotta have phones. That should be everything. Oh, wait. wait. Where's Howard? Where the frank uh, is Howard? I don't know. He said he was gonna show up. I swear, if he chickens out again, no. we are not bringing him anywhere else after this. Uh, creatures from within, uh, 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 within they s have said, uh, those, oh, come back and show their love, alright. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Took your sweet time. Again. Yeah, sorry. Uh, they look like VRChat avatars? Well, I think they whatever. Are. Now that everyone is here, what do you want to do first? Ooh, I know. We should tell some scary stories. I wanna... I wanna question five? To be fair, you did ask the question first. Uh, alright, true. Alright, I'll bite. Cool. So, have you guys heard of stories that some people here would go missing? Well, some people here say that these are just urban legends, but that some believe otherwise. From what I've heard is that a person goes alone in the dark and far enough away from here, you could hear strange noises or rustling in the bushes. Watermelon cat, yes I can. And when it gets dark enough, bam! Instantly taken from whatever lurked out there. Well, what happened to them after? Oh, well, nobody knows. But from what the locals here say, those very same whispers and voices are the very same people that were alive and trying to research the living. Trying to warn them about the danger within. Oh, come on. That's probably the lamest story I've ever heard. Hey, I got a better idea. If your story is true, let's do a dare. What kind of dare? All three of us will go out into the woods on our own for 30 minutes. If anyone chickens out first before time's up, the first person to lose has to buy the others pizza for a full month. What do you guys think? Sure? I don't know, guys. 
Oh, come on, Howard. Frick Heats is on the line, for Christ's sakes. And besides, it's not like you have anything to do anyways. Yes, I am in there. I'm mad. <sighs> All right, fine. Let's get this over with. All right, timer's up, everyone. We'll meet back here in 30 minutes afterwards. Good luck. <laughs> that was my final take on that part, Jesus. Oh, here we go. Okay, stay out for 30 minutes. Come on, Howard. You got this. So far, it's been three minutes. Not too bad. But still, I need to keep going. Maybe I should explore a little bit. I do have to know, this is Howard's POV. From what I was told. So, keep that in mind. Maybe just walk around. It's been seven minutes now, man. It's starting to get a little creepy here. This is going to be a very long night. Seriously. If I had known about this earlier, I would have at least brought my Game Boy over. You know, to distract me from getting paranoid. Fifteen minutes in. I'm really wondering why I thought agreeing to this over pizza was a good idea. But even then, I've got to prove myself that I can do this. Otherwise, I'm probably going to be called a chicken again on the drive back home or for the whole month. Huh? What was that? Why am I getting so jumpy and anxious? It hasn't even been 20 minutes yet. Brahmin and his story must have gotten to me. It's messing with my head more than I would have thought. I mean, for all I care, that could have just been a squirrel or something. I don't know. Either way, just need to wait a little bit more. Okay. Only got a little bit left. Five more minutes, and then it's free pizza. <sighs> I wonder if one of the others gotten back first before I did. I mean, I know it's not going to happen, but I would be ironic and even kind of funny. It would also be a nice change in pace considering all the times they've called me a chick. Hell, hello? Come on, that's... That had to be the wind, right? Pull yourself together, Howard. Sorry, what are the others? <sighs> Maybe they've given up and decided to pull a prank on me? It's not very funny. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys, I know full well it's one of you. This isn't, this isn't funny anymore. I, I'm being serious. Knock it off. Oh. actually good holy shit that was good what the fuck? damn poor howard <laughs> howard just goes